Hi everybody, this is Dan Joseph with MRC TV. Earlier this week, the activist group Moms Rising held an event on Capitol Hill. Many of these moms brought their children with them, and those kids are dressed up like doctors because this group supports Dr. Vivek Murthy. Dr. Vivek Murthy's nomination is stalled in the U.S. Senate in part for his support of an assault weapons ban. The local news stations here in D.C. actually covered a lot of what the activists said when they were standing at the podium speaking. The Senate should not be listening to an extremist gun lobby on the issue of who will serve as the guardian of our nation's health. Our caving to a lobby that has nothing to do with public health. That lobby is the National Rifle Association. But it was what happened after they came off of the podium that really caught our attention. And those kids are dressed up like doctors because this group supports Dr. Vivek Murthy. Percy, what are you doing here today? Uh, not sure. No. Do you think Do you think it's okay that you're sort of using it as a prop for to protest the NRA and when he doesn't even know what's going on today? He actually does know what's going yeah. on, but what's going sometimes on? he gets pretty shy. Do you know what the NRA stands for? Uh, no. No, no idea. Do you know who the guy who's running for who's nominated for Surgeon General is? No, no idea. So what's? It's what's a, he's just sort of a prop, right? That, um, that's not really fair. He's no. six years old. Um, so he really, does, so does he understand what's happening today? Did we, did we talk about, um, about, uh, the, the, um, the gun lobby? Yeah. Harassing a child is actually pretty inappropriate. Harassing a child? I'm just trying to figure out why Where? all these kids are dressed up as doctors to try Where? to make a political point. Where are you I'm Joseph with MRC TV. Because it's child health and a public health crisis that it's like, you know, that no child should have to suffer from gun violence. Okay, so, but it's, it's just the children, where are all the, uh, where are the adults that are not doctors who dress up like doctors today? Uh, not a, I'm an adult, I'm an adult who is a real you doctor. Are doctor where, where are you from? A media Research Center, we, talk, we heard you, okay. we heard you talking in there about how you wanted to get pictures with all these little kids dressed up as doctors, sort of using them as props, right? But they don't really know what's going on here. They don't know what the NRA is, they don't know. <laughs> Who the Surgeon General is. So but you know what's going on. Are you right? using this? Yeah. This Thank you for coming. We'd like to direct all questions to our communications director. Gun violence is a is a public health risk. Is uh, is using a gun to defend yourself preventative care? Is it preventative care? I think that is really conflating the issues. Is but we're happy to, to send you to prevent your to prevent gun violence against yourself. Is that preventative care? Sure. We're happy. We're happy. It's not preventative care. Why not? What's the difference? It is not preventative care. It's not. You're using you're, you're using a gun to protect yourself from somebody who has a gun pointed at you. That's not preventative care. No, if it is gun not. If gun violence. You know, I really think that this interview is over. You're twist. You're really we have twisting to preventative health. You're twisting preventative health very irresponsibly. Right, got it. Thanks, guys. Thank you.